Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. Happy Monday. I hope everyone's week starts off great. It is Memorial Day, the start of summer. I love it. I I feel like it's the start of summer. I feel like it's the start of summer, but it's not officially because tomorrow I do have to go in for my last contract day. But it pretty much is. For Memorial Day today, I'm going to my uncle's house. He's having everybody over just to hang out and kick summer off. I One thing about me, I love to cook so much. So I always try to make everything from scratch. So like if I'm going to a party or something. So today I made a macaroni salad. Just a classic a summer staple. Seriously, I love macaroni salad. But um, And then I brought me some Diet Cokes. And I'll share if anyone wants one. But last week I bought some True Lemon Packets. And then when I went to Chick-fil-A, I tried it out. And y'all, Diet Coke, True Lemon, so good. So I'm going to have that again. But... Yeah, I'm just going to go hang out. I'm excited for this week. I feel much better after the weekend. I feel like just better. I feel like I'm not as emotional. So yeah. Yo, I'm getting ready to leave. Look how sad this room looks. It's official. Turning in my keys now. No looking back. Okay, I just left the school for the very last time. So crazy. I'm sure I'll be back there though to visit and I don't know it just doesn't feel like the end but it is a little sad obviously I've cried like 17 times this past week but I stopped at Trader Joe's because I've been on the hunt for these things like why am I on a I hate how like whenever you want something you gotta go on a full round trip mission to find it these days but i wanted to get these so then for mornings for breakfast now that i don't have to be rushed i wanted to have this and avocado on top of it like a little avocado toast with the hash brown i saw it on tiktok it looks really good because yeah i'm not gonna be rushed it's gonna be so nice so i stopped and got that now i'm headed home but i don't know what i want to do today i think I actually, I am going to head home and I want to like reorganize all my stuff. Y'all could see it in the back there. Look, there's like so much going on. So I want to get that reorganized so that, yeah, I can start planning for my tutoring. So I want to do that, but I want to treat myself, obviously. I'm going to work out later, so I should eat bad now. I wanted to do, oh god, it's so hot. One, hold, please. I gotta blast the AC, y'all. Ah, yes. Okay. That was nice. I'm like close to where there's a Cafe Rio. I want like nachos. I want a Qdoba nachos or a quesadilla, but Cafe Rio is like. I don't know better, but that's not sounding that good, honestly. So I think I'll just go to the Qdoba by my house. It's summer break. That's what it feels like. It literally just feels like I'm on summer break, like I'm going back there, I think. But then I get these little feelings like, oh, God, like I'm not going back there. And that's when the sadness, it's like crazy. So I feel like in August, I'll be hit really hard. <laughs> yeah. Okay, y'all, I just finished eating. After I worked out, I'm getting ready to shower. But while I was eating, I was, like, just thinking about... I do like to have, like, some sort of plan or, like, structure to my summer. Because if not, it goes by like that and you feel like you didn't do anything. So, I've seen, like, a bunch of people use this habit tracker... It's like habit tracker app and yeah I'm excited I really want to focus on like a good morning routine because I had one and I loved it but then like when my teacher burnout started happening I just like 
I couldn't do it. And I do think that the way you start your mornings really do set you up for success for the day. So that's where I'm like focusing on. So right now my habits that I'm going to track are a morning walk. Like with my dog Louie in the morning. Instead of just like hurrying and get it done. I want it to be like an intentional walk. And just at least like 30 minutes. Even if I have to carry him because he's old and small. But just like 30 minutes out in nature just to like you know reset and then like before that when I first wake up I do want to start getting into practicing meditation consistently on a consistent basis so I have that my morning walk and then the other ones I really want to track for now are read I really do want to do at least 30 minutes a day like I said I'm trying to finish becoming oh it's a lot but yeah that's my goal and then work out of course for at least 45 minutes whenever i do a class classes are 50 minutes so that should be good but then when i do any workouts by myself it should really be 45 minutes i feel like my endurance is up there now and then oh and right now i have job applications like being productive with that and i want to apply to at least five a day i don't know i've never really searched for a job y'all is that good like i don't know so yeah that's it but i'm excited to use it i might pay so that i could get like a cool little just little like visual for you for a week so it has like all your goals and then what you hit i don't know i'm a very visual person so i might like that but i'm excited to see i'll let y'all know how it goes i like that you can sync your watch to it so like my apple watch I record my workout so I had it in there and my steps for my morning walk. We'll see how it goes. I'm excited to hold myself accountable and like, you know, just build this habit. I think I will be happy with it. Good morning, y'all. I am obsessed with tracking my habits now. No, not me saying that after one day, but I've already got so much done and it's barely 9 10. I am gonna add one more though. I'm gonna add getting ready because, like, one, I don't get like, I don't mean like fully ready, but you know, just going through my skincare routine, getting my hair somewhat together, like, um, that type of thing you know so yeah i'm just gonna add that in real quick and i did it today perfect so yeah here's an update i love it and i love that it has like that bar that keeps filling up so like my morning walk i did however many steps but my goal for the whole day is ten thousand. so that's good i only read for like 15 minutes or 11 or whatever it says while i was eating breakfast but i'm gonna take my book and and read while i'm in the sauna at the gym so yeah i love it i'm obsessed you should do it it's just called habit tracker in the app store yeah i love it i'm waiting for the morning workout classes to finish at the gym so i can go and use like the exercise room that's usually what i do when i do my own workout because it has like free weights in there it does have like a barbell obviously it's not like a full on one but it does the job for deadlifts and it has mats things like that so i usually go in there and do it so i'm waiting for that and then after i think i'm just gonna stay out i have some errands to run but then i also really just need to power through and finish my website it's so close to being done so yeah i'm gonna go to this little coffee shop that i got a gift card for from one of my students it's close to the gym so i'm just gonna have a really productive day to start off this summer break i'm gonna call it a summer break because technically i'm still a teacher until my contract is up and i find another job so first day of summer break
gotten so much done today y'all i'm feeling so productive so accomplished i came home though because you can only work at a coffee shop for so long like i'm gonna keep working but let's make a water y'all how cute is this new glass cup i got off amazon i love it so much i love that i can see what i want to drink I love that it's glass, first of all, but it's 30, 32 ounces, which I really like because, like, when you use these water packets, it's usually for, like, a 16.9 ounce bottle, which I like water, personally, but I also understand needing, like, a... But I also understand needing, like, a little bit of a boost sometimes, you know? Like, I get all my regular water intake in, but there's so many flavors out there. So I like having 32 ounces, so it's still a little, like, so it's watered down a little is what I'm trying to say. But today I'm going to make, I made this the other day and it was so good. So I'm going to make it again. It's the Margaritaville Pina Colada Packet and then I add in the Sunkiss Pineapple. So it's just like a more enhanced Pina Colada. It's really good. Ooh. Let's try it. Yeah, it's perfect. So I feel like how they add all those syrups and all the extra stuff, that's a lot. But these were meant to be put in water and I like them. But I definitely like them watered down a little bit. So I suggest just doing a larger amount of water. Hi, welcome to Kentucky Bread and Order. Once you're ready. Hi, um, can I get six of the chocolate iced with cream filling? One of the... Are we doing a dozen today? Probably, yes. Okay, some chocolate cream filling. And then one of the banana pudding and one chocolate cream pie. We'll do one cinnamon sugar. Yeah. One so maple... I got, so far I got six chocolate cream. One original filled, and then two more. Two more, okay. And then one of the cake batter, okay. and just one original. Anything else for you today? And then I'll also do the what is it like original iced coffee, original glazed iced coffee. Original iced coffee. Yes. Anything else? Um, no, that'll be it. Don't be in yeah. What was that? Oh, medium. Okay, thank you. Yo, why was that so hard to order? God, my social skills today are bad. Okay, y'all. I was so excited to go to Krispy Kreme. I'm on the way to the mall, and there's a Krispy Kreme on the way. So I'm like, let me stop because I saw a commercial about the banana pudding donut that they had. And then I got to thinking, it's like... It's like Dunkin' Donuts, but nobody talks about it. So I went and I tried the banana pudding donut and it tastes like a regular freaking Krispy Kreme filled donut. And it was disappointing, but at least Krispy Kreme is good. And I got this iced coffee, y'all. This is a medium. Look at, look at how small it is. This is a gulp. So anyway, I think I'm gonna do Dunkin' over Krispy Kreme, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I'm on the way to the mall to, uh, but I'm sad because I had all these Visa gift cards from students and yeah, from students that I wanted to spend. And I'm still on the hunt for the perfect workout leggings. So that's what we're going to do today, but I forgot the gift cards at home, so. It's fine, I'll just use them for groceries and just like swap out my money. So we're gonna go see, I wanna go to Abercrombie because I've heard really good thing about the Sculpt Love, Sculpt Lux, Lux Sculpt, something like that for Kirby Girls. And I just wanna go to the Aloe store because that's new, well, recently new to me. I don't go shopping all the time. So I wanna go in there and see what they have and yeah, just have a little mall day. It's the middle of the day. I love summer break because you get to act like you don't have a job. I love being out with people who are just like calm and 
it's just a good time i just got back from the mall and i went to abercrombie first right and i looked for the like sculpt love whatever they're called right they had none of it which i felt like that was a sign that they didn't want my money so then i just ended up going to aloe which was a bad idea i got these tops i was gonna get them during the anniversary sale but they sold out so i got two of them i really like how aloe has like a built-in bra and just thicker material so you don't have to wear anything under i really like that this cute little skirt it looks so good on if you're like curvy and you want like one of those skirts that are in style right now i recommend like one that's not pleated it looked so nice and flattering and then these are the leggings i'm gonna try the high waist airlift legging the lady who helped me also wears a size 8 10 and she said that these are her absolute fave and they don't slip or move during workouts so yeah that's pretty much all that i got i am gonna try these leggings on for my workout class that i need to get ready to go to did a little <laughs> trial in the fitting room i was like doing jump squats and like squatting and stuff and they look really good i'll let y'all know how they feel and then you're like I just cannot wait to brush my teeth like there was so much garlic in that dish I had I just went to brunch with some friends and it was good the food was really good but gosh I by the time I noticed I looked down there was literally whole garlic cloves in that dish and I don't think I ate there was just so much garlic, but then I saw the whole clothes. I was like, what the heck? Anyway, I'm headed home now, and I honestly just have been laying low the past, ooh, the past few days. So I haven't really been vlogging much. I've just been applying to jobs, being productive, working out. That's probably what I'll end up doing today. It's so rainy. It just makes me want to stay at home, so... Yeah, I'll probably end up closing out this vlog soon. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all next week.